What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be kind of a quick one, but recently we got some more leaks on the upcoming AMD Ryzen Z2 processor. In fact, it looks like we might be getting three different variants, and along with this, it kind of goes hand in hand with the upcoming Legion Go 2 and the Legion Go Lite. So the information we have right now about the upcoming Z2 Extreme and Z2 processors is coming to us from Golden Pig Upgrade Pack. A reliable leaker over on the Billy Billy website given us some great information in the past and right now they stated that AMD did have an APU in the works known as the Z2 Extreme X which would give us a 16 CU RDNA 3.5i GPU basically the 890M iGPU in one of these chips. It was also going to be paired up with 8 Zen 5 cores but right now it looks like the 16 CU version was cancelled. But the information we have right now is still giving us three variants of the upcoming Z2. At the top of the list, the Ryzen Z2 Extreme with 8 Zen 5 CPU cores and a 12 CU RDNA 3.5i GPU. Basically, the 880M iGPU that we're seeing in the Ryzen AI HX 365 on the market right now. And I've done a lot of testing with the 880M versus the Z1 or the 780M, and we're seeing around a 13% increase in GPU performance. But you got to remember that the 865 that this 880M is in right now has a 10 core CPU, so it is using some extra power for those cores. Once we take it down to 8 cores, it can send a little more over to that iGPU and we'll probably see a little bump. I'm thinking around 17 to 19% faster on the iGPU side with those extra cores removed on this new Z2 Extreme. But a really interesting thing was the other two that were kind of leaked. The Ryzen Z2, 12 CU RDNA 3 iGPU, and the Ryzen Z2G, which actually has a 12 CU RDNA 2 iGPU. So with that Ryzen Z2, looks like we're going to be seeing the same kind of performance that the 780M is putting out right now, but it would be kind of nice if they lowered that core count, 6 cores, 12 threads, and it's really, really odd that they're releasing the Z2G, but this could definitely enable some much cheaper handheld gaming devices that can still put out some decent performance at those lower resolutions. And again, this goes hand in hand with the recent Legion Go leaks. So with their new USB-C dock, the online user manual states that they have a Legion Go 2 and the Legion Go Lite. Originally, with the Lite version, we thought it was going to be using the original Z1 APU, and that is a very underpowered iGPU. It's got 12 CUs. We saw in the non-extreme version of the ROG Ally, but now it looks like they might be using one of the other new Z2 CPUs, either the Z2 or the Z2G. And we also got some supposed shell leaks of the new Legion Go Lite. Now this definitely looks a lot different from the original Legion Go. Non-detachable controllers. Got a massive vent system on the rear here. And it's going to be using a smaller 7-inch display when you compare it to the original Legion Go. Now we haven't got any leaks on the Legion Go 2, but with the Lite version, I kind of like the overall design that they got going here. And if that price is right with the correct Z2 CPU, might be right for a lot of people. Now I am a little disappointed to hear that AMD may have canceled that Z2 Extreme X. That would have been really awesome with those 16 CUs and that RDNA 3.5i GPU. With the new Ryzen AI using that 890M, it is a giant upgrade over the 780M at the correct wattage. But I could see him kind of scrapping that due to power draw from that 16 CU iGPU. So I could definitely see him going back down to that 12 CU 880M iGPU. And through all of my testing right now with the Ryzen AI 9 365, which is going to be kind of the closest thing we're going to see to that Z2 Extreme if the specs are correct in this leaked information, at a 17 watt TDP, 14% faster single core performance, 15% faster multi core, and a 13% faster iGPU when compared to the original Z1 Extreme APU. But keep in mind, the HX365 does have 10 cores and 20 threads. And with the new leak specs from the Z2, looks like we're going to get an 8 core, 16 thread variant. So multi core performance might not be as much as we're seeing here. But either way, I'm still pretty excited about these leaks here, and hopefully they do come back with that Z2 Extreme X with those 16 CUs. Having a big battery like the ROG Ally X running at, let's say, a 20-watt TDP 
I'm still seeing really great battery life out of that thing, given that it's got an 80 watt, and that's exactly what we need to get more battery life out of these handheld gaming devices. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, if they do release something that only gives us a 15% uplift in GPU performance, are you going to stick with what you have now, wait for the next generation, or are you going to go all out and try to pick something up with that Z2 Extreme? Let us know in the comments, and like always, thanks for watching.